net operating income. Let's go ahead and talk about that. You're going to hear that term, net operating income, thrown around over and over again. It's probably one of the most important things in determining your um, how your property operates and the evaluation. It is, it is actually the most important thing in determining a property evaluation. But what goes into net operating income and what doesn't? Right, so you have to know this, so let's talk about it. Tap in, right? The net operating income is, is pretty simple. All the income minus the expenses, that's going to give you your net operating income. Now, on the income side, everything is going to go in there, right? Every source of income that your property makes goes into the net operating income calculation, right? So all your rent, um, any late fees, any pet fees, any uh, vending machines that you may have on the property, all that income that gets together, that goes into the income section. When it comes to expenses, though, all right, when you get to these expenses, now it gets a little tricky. And so uh, what I'm about to tell you is how to know what goes into the expenses and what should not. All of your ordinary expenses that come with running the property on a day-to-day -day basis that goes in there. What you got to pay your property manager, what you have to pay for utility costs, what you have to pay in insurance, all that goes into your expense columns. But your mortgage payment, your mortgage payment does not go in the expense column. Why is that? That's because people can buy multifamily different. And so when we're coming up with an evaluation, we don't want to have that evaluation changed depending on how somebody else finances the property. So if you go out and you get 90% loan from a bank, you're going to have one mortgage payment, but somebody else might decide to pay all cash. And so how much money they generate from paying all cash versus how much money you generate from going and get a bank loan is going to be different. So to even out the playing field, we're not going to include the mortgage payment. However you choose to finance the property is on you. In the multifamily world, it's really, it's open, right? However you're creative you can get on the finance side of it, you're free to do it. So we exclude that in the net operating income uh, equation so that we're only talking about how the property works, not how you chose to finance it. So that doesn't go in there. Another expense that doesn't go in there is the uh, capital expenditures. So what you're doing to upkeep the property, that's not normal wear and tear. So give you a few examples of that. Let's say you had to go in and repave the parking lot, right? That repaving of the parking lot, is not an ordinary expense. It's not something that you're going to do every month. If you went in and you changed the roof, that's not something you're going to do every month. What they call it is a capital expenditure, and a capital expenditure is excluded from the net operating income. So what you can do is, is you basically know how this is, but here's a, here's a way that you can actually make a ton of money. Not all brokers are even aware of this. And some of them, some of your newer brokers or, or smaller brokerages who get their hands on a multifamily property, they may forget and include some of the capital expenditures in there, but they don't, uh, they don't account for that. So they affects how they evaluate the property. So now you've got a property that maybe it should be worth $20,000, $50,000, $100,000 more than what they're selling it for because they didn't do that. So know your expenses, know what goes in to net operating expense calculation, and then know what doesn't. And because you know that information now, you know how you can evaluate your property and make sure that you're using good metrics to do so in the future. Hopefully you found that helpful. Um, I will continue to bring videos like this as long as it's helpful to you. So let me know if you found that helpful. Go ahead and leave a like button. If you got any comments, questions, you can drop that below and I'll hop in and answer those. Have a good one on purpose and I will talk with you later.